Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Cassell. Uh, in this time of digital learning, it occurs to me that there's a lot of things we can do in school that you get more support with or help from your teachers at home. And now you need to leverage technology yourself to be able to accomplish some of those tasks. One of them is graphing. So you've got a powerful tool, which is Google Sheets, a spreadsheet, a wonderful tool. Arthur's playing with these awesome rainbow cups right here right now is what he's playing. Um, so this assignment that we were working on is a great opportunity if you don't have graph paper at home, if you don't have a printer, and you want to make a graph of this, doing it with a spreadsheet is a great idea. So um, this is a spreadsheet, right? Here's my best advice for you, my pro tips to make it work 99% of the time. Your first column there should be whatever you want your X coordinate to be. And your second column should be your Y coordinate. So whatever you want along your horizontal axis should go in that first column. That's what's going to go across the bottom of your graph. And your second column is your vertical axis, your Y axis. So in this case, the graph that you're making, you want to be graphing what year it is and then how many sunspots there are. Okay? So... When you start putting numbers in here, and I'm going to put in pretend numbers, right? So this, like, is not a thing. So let's see. 25. Ooh, Arthur's going to touch the keyboard a little bit. Um, I'm just trying to keep things under 100. Uh, what's my favorite number under 147? Okay. So here we go. There's those four things. Arthur, you're doing such a good job sitting there. You're so beautiful. So now you've got a data table, right? You've got all your data in there. And now you're ready to insert a chart, as it is called. I'm going to select the data that I want in my chart. So I'm not going to select that X and that Y. If I've got extra data, I'm not going to include it. But I'm going to select what do I want to go on my graph. Up here, there's this insert chart. And all spreadsheets, whether it's Excel or your um, Google Sheets, try to be smarter than you. If you set your graph up this way before you create your chart, most of the time it's going to give you things in the right order um, that you need them to be in. So you'll see it's made a chart here. It's not showing the points that I've plotted. It's shown its own best fit line, and I don't trust a machine if I can't see how it works. So instead, I almost always recommend you come over here to your chart editor, or you can get there by choosing to edit the chart, clicking on the dot, 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 and choosing edit chart, or um, double-clicking on your chart in a few places. Um, I always recommend that you choose that you plot your data points. Most of the time in science, we're going to be making a line graph where we're finding a best fit line, and that's what you'll want to do. To add a best fit line to something, you go over to this Customize tab, and down here where it says Series, because this is your data series, you put in a series of data points, you're going to scroll down until you see Trend Line. So if we were trying to find a best fit line, this is where you can set it up. If you want to know the equation of the line, you label it with the equation. So you can ask yourself here, does that make sense for this particular assignment? And the answer is no, we're trying to look for a pattern in sunspots going up and going down. So this is one of those times where I might go, gosh, a trend line doesn't make sense for me um, because I, it, there's a bigger trend that includes up and down that I want to see. So that's where for this particular graph, uh, we want the dots to be connected. So we're going to go ahead and go back and pick that first line that you'd see. So that's what your graph is going to look like, except it'll be with the real number. When you make this kind of graph, one of the cool things about Google, right, is they want you to use all their stuff all the time. So this graph, I can select it, and then um, up here at the top, I can go to my edit menu, and I can copy it. And I could paste it into a Google Sheet, for example. So if you choose this option, link to spreadsheet, anytime you change the data in your spreadsheet, it will update this graph. So that's a useful thing if you're working on a long project. For this assignment, you probably just want to make your graph be done and then paste it into your assignment if that's what you're going to do. So either way, for this assignment, you can do link to spreadsheet. Okay, so when you paste that in there, it looks like this. And then 
um, you get your graph just like you have over here on your spreadsheet. All right. So there you go. Have fun.